wanted to meet the man who attracted a mind-blowing 4 million people to Delhi from around the world for an event to promote peace. His name is simply Shri Shri. In an arena nine football fields long, dignitaries, plus 30,000 musicians, assembled at the World Culture Festival. 350 million people from 170 countries follow him globally. One is my daughter, Leanda. At his 700-acre ashram in Bangalore, people come from all over to embrace his art of living. In fact, within 30 minutes, I bumped into Philly friends who attended the festival and made some new friends. It was so beautiful. I mean, imagine meditating with three million people. And cultures from every part of the world, like Bulgaria, Russian dancers, expressing themselves and their diversity, but also there's this incredible sense of unity. It starts with a breathing technique called Sudarshan Kriya, a 20-minute daily practice that taps you into your life force. And hundreds of millions of people think it's working. People know that for a good body, you go to a gym, but what about our breath? Well, she has a point there. Meet Shri Shri and that's it. He reads your mind. He better not read my mind. <laughs> he will. Look at ahead. Hmm, maybe I need to learn how to breathe. Hello, Hello Shri Shri. Nice to meet you. So I met Shri Shri. This is my team. I had no doubt he was a happy and contented man. So we walked and talked about breathing. Our breath is deep connection with our emotions. Someday people have missed this. When did you come up with this? Like, when did you have that download? Do you know? 35 years ago. Really? I took a 10-day silence on the bank of the river. Before that, also, I was teaching yoga, meditation. And then it suddenly felt that uh, there's something missing, that something I'm here to share. So I didn't put my head into it. I just started sharing it together. That's the short story of the long... Of the long vision. You brought in 3.75 million people. Making the World Culture Festival one of the largest peaceful events in recorded history. How do you feel about what's happened? Mm -hmm. At just four years old, Sri Sri was often found in deep meditation and could recite Sanskrit from the Hindu holy book, the Bhagavad Gita. His teacher was an associate of Mahatma Gandhi. Peaceful doesn't mean you tolerate nonsense. We have to stand up for what we believe. And it need not be an aggressive uh, posture. It, you can do it with a smile. Now this ambassador for peace, with a degree in physics, has an office filled with honors for his role in everything from cleaning rivers to empowering women, educating children, and solving conflicts between world leaders. If a mob which is angry can create so much evil, a group which is peaceful can do so much good also. And Sri Sri's hundreds of millions of followers are committed to service. We are helping farmers to grow organic food, educating kids who are not going to school. He also teaches meditation to militants. When we talk to them, we teach them some breathing and meditation. They become so calm, they're happy. Do your cheeks ever hurt? <laughs> <laughs> you know, there is one thing that takes away your smile, that is stress. Stress is the biggest enemy of mankind. And we need to equip ourselves with, with instruments. Breathing is one. So when 3.7 million people come and they meditate for peace, what do you tell them to go out and do? Give one hour a day and do whatever service they can do they are capable to the society. In Art of Living is about embracing all the beauty of a fast-paced life while also finding real contentment and joy and happiness in your day-to-day. -day. Oh, thank you. It's the inner peace that can bring peace in family, that can bring peace in society, and ultimately in the world. Let's make the world a better place to live and bring a wave of celebration. I'm telling you.